Hey guys, sorry about that. Uh, phone messed up on me once again. But anyway, uh, as you can see, it's nice and it's bubbly. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do, guys, is uh, we're going to go ahead and we are going to uh, go ahead and add the water in there. We're going to incorporate it, bring it back up to the boil. Be back in just a moment. Alrighty, guys, Butch is back here. Uh, just having a look see right here, guys. Uh, I added in the three cups of the hot tap water, stirred it in, tasted it. Did kind of dilute a little bit of the seasoning though, like the salt mainly, but I did add a little touch more seasoning. A little bit of that uh, Padilla adobo with the complete saison. Touch more garlic powder, touch more onion powder, touch more black pepper. And a little bit of the Mrs. Dash's salt free garlic and herb seasoning. Tasted it, tastes fine. We're going to bring it back up to the boil and uh, then at that point once we bring it up, back up to the boil we're going to add a couple cups of the uh, instant rice incorporated put a lid on it turn it off and then like i said it's going to sit about 10 15 minutes then at that point uh, we'll just do uh we'll fluff it up with the fork and just do a quick little taste test for you guys all right be back in a few Alrighty guys, we're back. As you can see, I've already got the water incorporated there. Uh, as you can see, it's starting to come up to the bubble over there right now. Uh, give it about here another minute. I'm going to give it a little mix. Then we're going to dump in the rice. We're going to mix that in. And then we're going to put the lid on it, turn the heat off. And then at that point, we'll let it go ahead and uh, set for about eh, 10, 15 minutes or so. Normally, they say five minutes. I like to give it another five or ten minutes longer. Just to be on the safe side, you can see it's starting to come up there right now. Uh, like I said, we're going to go ahead and get the rice mixed in, stir it in, put the lid on it, turn the heat off, let it set for about 10, 15 minutes, maybe even 20, depends on how long it takes. And uh, and then we'll be back, boys and girls. Alrighty, guys, uh, Butch is back here. Uh, while we're waiting on our beans and them to finish soaking up the... Uh, the rice to finish sucking up all that yumminess there. Uh, what I wanted to do here is just show you. I know Doc Inc. had had the other day, uh, he had gotten some of the uh, little bottled uh, sodas. I want to say, was that his Rose IGA? And I believe, if I'm correct, I may be wrong. Doc can correct me. I'm, you know, uh, I'm originally from Jacksonville. And I used to live out there on the north side, out there in Ocean Way. And there used to be an IGA that was right across the street there off North Main Street. Right down from there was a Houston's Meat Market. There also was, uh, I want to say there was a little champ, or I actually want to say it was a gate gas station. Then, of course, you had the discount auto parts. And then you had... The, uh, it was the Ace Hardware back behind there was uh, Ocean Way 7th Grade Center along with Ocean Way Elementary School. I had went to school at both of those places. Also across from the other side there was the Winn-Dixie. Uh, right there, cutting in between there, I want to say that was Hexer Drive. Uh, Maybe wrong, like I said, it's been years since I've been there. I'm not quite sure that Doc can correct me. But I saw that he had some bottled sodas. The cream sodas and stuff like that that he's gotten. Uh, this is some bottle sodas here that I've just gotten recently. Um, these two came from Publix. This is a uh, frosty root beer, regular root beer. I believe they had this in diet as well. We've got the frosty blue cream soda. And I believe they have an orange cream soda as well. We have the Sioux City Prickly Pear uh, drink right there. And uh, we also have the Dad's Old Fashioned Red Cream Soda. Now these two, excuse me, sorry about it, I got out the camera shot there. These two came from Big Lots. As you can see, I got these for uh, 85 cents. That one was 85, and I believe this one was 85. Let's see. 85 cents for both of them. These were like a dollar 19 or a dollar 39, something like that. 
at Publix. Sioux City has other stuff as well. They have a cream soda, regular cream soda. They have a birch beer and they have a sarsaparilla. Those three are, are good. I like them. Dad's Root Beer also has a blue cream soda. They have an orange cream soda. They also have Dad's Root Beer and Dad's, uh, I think it's a diet root beer as well. Um, that they have guys so uh, and I know they have those at big lots but before the only time I'd ever seen like dad's was like in the uh, one liter bottles along with their blue cream soda and stuff like that but anyway uh, just want to kind of put this up on here doc there's some other ones I don't know if you like any of these or not or I remember frosty from when I was a boy uh, drinking frosty root beer and not the, the blue cream soda but the frosty root beer I do remember kind of brings back memories for me whenever I was a little kid going to the barber shop when I was a kid and my dad would take me to get my hair cut and have the old you know, the Pepsi machine Pepsi Cola the Coca Cola machine and you get the little small little 8 ounce 12 ounce bottles usually the 8 ounce bottles up out of the machine they were a quarter back then quarter to 50 cents and yeah a long time ago guys but anyway uh that have like frosty root beer in there and that was great and i liked that when i was a kid same as coca any soda that you drink out of a glass bottle guys just for me personally a lot of the people that i know they're going to have a better flavor out of the glass bottle than they do out of the plastic or out of the can bottom line okay uh but anyway i just wanted to share this up on here for your dog might get a kick out of it maybe it's like something maybe he might want to go buy you know or what have you maybe one of you guys out there like sit might want to see it and you say hey yeah you know what hey i want to go try that why not what the heck so hey just want to throw that in while we was waiting on the uh the rice uh to finish absorbing uh all the yumminess in the pot we'll be back here in just a moment okay guys real quick uh i know these bottles are empty but this is uh the ones that I was talking about here just a second ago. This is the uh, Sioux City Birch Beer. This is the Sioux City Sarsaparilla, the granddaddy of all root beers. And then we have the uh, Sioux City uh, Cream Soda right there. And yes, I collect bottles with the bottle caps on them. I might do a video on it one day, show you my bottle collection, my can collection, different soda bottles and beer bottles and soda cans and stuff like that. Could be another video. Hey, who knows? But anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. Be back in just a moment. Alrighty guys, this is Butch. We're back here now. Uh, this is after it's already cooked and the rice is soaked up, all the juice and everything. Still left it really saucy, guys. Let me see if I can try to get in here. I've already fluffed it with a fork and everything. It is thick and stuff like that, but it's not like dry. I tasted it. I can go ahead and taste it again here for you guys. This is what it looks like right there. Hmm. A little hot. But wow. The flavors of the red beans come through. Of course the pasta has cooked down guys. Not as firm as up as what it would be. So the red beans is a little bit more predominant. Um, but you do have like a... I know you guys say, oh no he's double dipping. Well... This is for us here, not for you. But anyway, get a little pop of the pea and stuff like that. I mean, it's really good. Is this is a a way that you can uh, try to use up leftovers, try to get it done, make it you know slightly different, you know, for the fam, you know, what have you, or uh, just for you guys. Anyway, appreciate you guys for tuning in checking it out like I said it was impromptu it would have been one single video but like I said the uh, phone messed up on me once again second time that's happened uh, so uh, hopefully we don't have a pattern going hopefully 
we can uh, get this go ahead and uh, straighten it out. So, anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys for tuning in and checking it out. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. But don't just give me this a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Go ahead and leave a comment down there, guys. You know, a comment. Just leave the comment down below. Why you liked it, why you didn't like it. You know, if there's any suggestions and stuff like that that you would make. Hey, I would have done it this way. Or, or hey, maybe next time do it something, you know, a different way. Or, hey, maybe we'd like to see you try to do something else. Hey, that's fine. Go ahead. Leave those comments. I appreciate it. I appreciate everyone who has watched. And I appreciate everyone who has subscribed so far. Because from earlier today, I think I had like 10 subscribers. This has been the last week or so, guys, that we've been doing this. And that makes me feel very good. I appreciate it very much. And uh, eventually I'm going to evolve. We're going to grow. I'm going to get better at using this phone. <laughs> And uh, we're going to do other things on here as well. So, um, if you tuned into the video, I'm glad you liked it. If you didn't, you know, that's fine. Just leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, what have you. If you like the content that you see, if there was something that you didn't like and you felt it could have been better, go ahead and critique me. Leave a comment. But anyway, guys, anyway, appreciate you. Glad you guys tuned in. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to have up something else. Something totally different. And I hope you like that as well. Alrighty. Take care. Bye.